David is kind of was shy, at least on, on media day, was shy about calling himself as a leader and looking himself as the number one guy. Is that a quality you, you like? I like humility. Um, yeah, I think that's really important. And it's him. Like, if he was trying to act like somebody else, I wouldn't like that. And, yeah, he, he's being truthful to who he is. That he, he doesn't take much for granted um, because he came from a situation where he didn't have a lot. He didn't have a lot of opportunities. And so he knows that every chance he gets, um, you know, is really important. And for him to come at you know, this season like that and to, to treat the running back room like that, that is huge for our team. Like, it's it's what sets the tone for our team, that attitude. It's him. It's a bunch of players. But, no, I like that. Yeah, they all got really good hands, which is a huge positive for us. Um, they've got ability to run routes. We can split them out. Um, we can have a couple, a few of them in the backfield, motion them out. Um, there's a lot that those guys can do. And, and to see them all really going this fall has been cool for me as a coach. Um, probably really cool for Coach Campbell as a play caller to think, man, I can put these guys in various places and feel really confident in their abilities. I feel really good about them. Um, I can't imagine a running back coach in another situation that feels better than me. Maybe somebody feels as good as me, but I feel really good. And, you know, not only because they're talented and can do a lot of things, but uh, because of who they are, because of the way that they come to the meeting room, because of the way they treat the practice field. And anytime that you have that, um, it really gives you a chance, you know, when you get to the season, you know, if somebody's nicked up here or somebody's um, not feeling well here, we've got guys that can really, um, you know, carry the burden in some sense. And so uh, that, that's a huge positive walking into the season. Like you said, uh, you never know what the season is going to bring and health and the ups and downs. Uh, but, you know, you feel confident that you've got a good, really good room, and that's all you can ask for at this point in the season. Um, but, no, we evaluate in all kinds of different ways. We put a... You know, we put our whole team in different situations. Um, we put them in the red zone. We put them, you know, backed up coming out. Uh, we put them in third down, fourth down, third and long. And for me, I want to see how those guys are in all those realms, all those environments. That now this guy isn't just a first down back that you know knows how to run zone. He's a back that you know when it's third and long and they're bringing all kinds of twists and stunts and blitzes that he knows how to pick those things up. And so I think for us. <laughs> That's what camp is for. It's to get those guys out there and to let them learn, let them grow, let them fail, make a mistake, come back and get better the next time. Um, and, and I guess that's how I evaluate them is, is throwing them into the real life situation. Coach Campbell was great because, you know, those first four days for us, was there were a bunch of base stuff. And then now we're in the situations every day where it's a new situation for them when they get out there on the field. You know, today we're out there and we're talking about third and long. We're talking about two men. Um, yesterday we were talking about red zone. It's every day those guys got to come ready with a mindset of, you know, what they're expected to do in, in each of those situations. Um, I think it's really important because right now he's doing the same thing. He's evaluating everything as a play caller of how guys, uh, how guys can help us, whether it's running backs, whether it's receivers, whether it's tight ends, and figuring out different ways that, that he can utilize them. And, like that dude, I mean, his memory is crazy. Like he can look at a defense and say, man, I remember when we were at, when I was at Bowling Green and such and such ran defense like this and this play worked. And yeah, it's crazy to me. Like I was probably playing high school ball then. And like he's remembering stuff and um, able to latch on to stuff and able to figure out how we can utilize our guys best. That's how his mind works. Players formations, plays, you've heard him say it over and over again. Um, but it really comes to life when you're in the meeting room with him and he's thinking, now, th against this specific defense, uh, this is the blocking scheme that's going to work, and this is the type of uh, tight end that's best in there and the type of running back that would be good running the scheme. Uh, he's got a lot of football knowledge. Um, so, yeah, we, uh, in that sense, I just listen and, like, yeah, that's a great idea, Coach.